In the previous mission, we calculated the densities of different materials such as metals, plastics and wood. But when selecting a material, we have to know how they behave. They may be stretchy or ductile, or they may be brittle and smash apart easily. When choosing which material to use, you have to think about the application or what you're going to use it for. For example, materials that you use for buildings and bridges may require different properties from the material as those selected for crash helmets or sports equipment, or even objects that you'd find in your own home, such as a sofa or maybe even a dog lead. So to test our materials, we have to destroy them. So we can have a compressive test where you squash the material, a tensile test where you pull it apart, or even an impact test where you try and smash it to bits. Choosing the right material for an application is essential. For example, would you really use a weak crunchy as a nail? Maybe you wouldn't. Whilst working at DuPont, Stephanie Qualek invented Kevlar whilst working on a project for making new materials for car tyres. Kevlar is a polymer and can be made into threads and woven into fabrics. These fabrics can then be made into car tyres and can contain huge pressures. But also Kevlar can be used in personal protective equipment such as bulletproof helmets and bulletproof vests, protective gloves and even cases to protect your smartphone. So your mission is to decide which materials to take into space. You've already had a look at the density of the materials and now you need to take the thin strips of material from your boxes. So take a metal and a plastic ruler and try and bend them. Here we've got a wooden ruler and you can see it snaps very easily. It creates some very sharp edges and splinters. Next, take one of the rods that you used in mission one and see how easily this bends in comparison to the ruler. Does it bend more easily? Is it really difficult to bend? By comparing the flexibility of the ruler against the rod of material, you can see that the thickness or design of that material changes its mechanical properties. Now you can start to plan your moon base. Think about the design. Will some parts of it need to be stiff, some a bit more flexible? Over to you.